Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woking. I'm back with the Gotcha Weekend Update after not having one last... <laughs> after having one, not having one last week because I was busy with work. I'm finally here with another one. I Let's get into it. I hope you enjoy this video and the return of the Behold, Gotcha Weekend Update. I've also been super busy with everything, with preparing some Halloween stuff. Um... It's actually, I was actually, this uh, I'm actually releasing two videos on a Sunday, so appreciate all my hard work by leaving a like, please. It helps me a whole bunch. I usually don't ask for stuff on Gotcha Weekend Update, just because I know um, it's a very relaxing video. It's not really about that. Oh, by the way, I should explain. What's the Gotcha Weekend Update? This is a time where I just play all the gotchas I want to and relax, man. It's the weekend. You should just try and relax on the weekend. There's a reason why it's the holy day. It's because it's the day you do nothing. They don't teach you that in Bible. What? They don't teach you that in Bible. What the hell's that mean? I'm also clearly out of my mind. Let me just go here. We're going to start with Dragalia Loss as we usually do. And I'm just going to beat up on this man. And of course, I lose everything. Don't do this to me. There you go. At least I actually got to keep the sound in this one. Sometimes I lose access to the HDMI and it goes completely bad. Hit him there. Don't use Dragon, because there's a chance of me losing Dragon. Which I definitely remember happening once. Go here. There we go. I guess not, he's just gonna die. Wow, we are beating the ever-loving crap out of him. He's not gonna even mention it. <laughs> okay. He didn't even enter his other form. Love wins again, darling. Yay! We did it. We won, everyone. Let's move on to the next gotcha now. Dragalia lost. Very good. This is the last day of the event, so of course, you know, gotta get your grind again. So let's move on to the next one. Also got a sunlight ore. Hmm. Yay! All right, and now we're here with our second gotcha, which is Bounty Rush, where I'm still trying to learn Perona. So let's go in here, play with Big Mama and Perona, and hope to God that I can get a good team. Because it really feels like I've never felt as frustrated with my team as playing Perona. Usually Bounty Rush to me is a single player game in which four people in theory work together. Um, very few units actually rely on the ally of the team to actually do something. Perona really is a case of just like, okay guys, I'm here, everyone else do their stuff, and everyone else is like, we can't advance, and I'm like, shit. Alright, let's look at the enemy team. Uh, I mean, it looks beatable to me. It does have Blackbeard, so when this guy picks Blackbeard, I'll get to pick, I'll get to see if he's level 100, and if he is, then I have to switch over to... Oh no, we have our own big mom. Ooh, okay. Our own level 100 Big Mom is very good. The one problem is actually the, um, the Luffy. So here's another problem. Runners who go for the first treasure. So if this Ace or Big Mom gets this- Okay, we lose. We never win when the first runner gets the treasure. We always lose because they suck. Look at them. Fucking terrible. Look at this trash-ass Big Mom. She lost the treasure, she's lost herself, and now I'm gonna watch her die. No, I'm gonna use this. Alright, go defend her. Give her some support. He's gonna hit him. Watch. Oh, she got him. Nice, and I got someone! <laughs> Alright, time to make my presence now. Time to do my job and defend. Perfect. That means I'm hitting someone with my skills. Nope. Get away. And there I go. Oh wow, we're actually doing really good. I also take back about everything I said about this big mom. She's extremely good. And of course they are taking it behind me. So I'm gonna let her handle him. And I'll go over here. And that's bad. Did somebody respawn? It's big mom. Alright, let me go over here. As I've said before, I'm very bad when I'm doing anything but defending, so... Oh, that's perfect. Damn it, I'm not in the correct perimeter. We shouldn't all be here. That's my current go-to. Okay, yeah, let them take it. Okay. Hit him with the ghost. 
And there I go. I should have stayed by my treasure, but also that guy was level 100. No wonder I died. Alright, so. Time to get everything back to normal. This is all bad, because this is nothing but a team of runners, it looks like. Alright, I'm gonna go here. Steal this back. Thank you very much. Go ahead, try it, motherfucker. Alright, dead. And there's someone else here. No, we have to go stop him. Fucking tired of this guy. Leave the goddamn point. Leave. Leave, you stupid giraffe. I do really think he's a cool um, unit to play as, but god. Leave. You do not deserve to be here. You're lucky I'm so stupid big. So it's actually very hard for me to see you to kill you. All right, you're dead. Leave my sight. Trash. Leave my sight. Leave my sight. Leave my sight. Oh, damn it. That's a fine. We won. I got 7,000. <laughs> Good job, everyone. That was a fantastic team I had. Damn, and Elvis really blew it out there. Was he the other big mom? Actually, we had multiple big moms, I think. Yeah, he was the other big mom. Good job. Good job, everyone. Once uh, I joined the big mom fray, um, and we were able to stop these damn runners. The other thing is, Perona's just so slow. Alright, let me move on to my final gacha game. We're here with Fake Granddaughter, as you can tell by those gigantic brass on the screen. We're <laughs> I'm gonna play one mission in this event. I'm kinda making my way through. Um, let me see. Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna be doing the lookout post? Okay. I have to set up my team for this too. Just one, some bronze fruit. Fence pretty close to being done, and I'm almost done with it as well. Um, it's pretty chill, at least as far as I'm concerned. Alright, let's go with this. I never use her in the main team anyway, because, you know, you know why. She's not the best. I mean, she's perfectly fine when she has her buffs, but unfortunately North America doesn't have her buffs. And I need killing, I don't need assassinating. Well, kind of bad assassinating, but I digress. Alright, let me see. I think the last one I need is... No, it's all good. Okay. I think. Let me double check on the guide. Yep, all good. I don't know if you can hear me, but the dogs are back. Um, I don't know if you can hear them now anymore, though. You know, probably if you make it real loud, you can hear the dogs. But it's fine. They're annoying me, that's for sure. I wish they were back to the near the horses where they fucking belong. Because the dogs seriously do not shut the fuck up at night. It makes it super annoying to record anything. I completely forgot that I that I needed to put Brave Liz in. That's me. Go here. No, actually I'll go here. There, that's better. Ah, oh, damn it, I should have used Waiver Skills. God damn it. I'll do it next turn. Let me put a little bit low. Jesus Christ. Apologies to everyone's ears for that. Good lord. Let me go here. I'm like, oh man, that dog annoys me, and then I decided to annoy everyone. I think I could take him with this. Show him what you got, uh, Lizabot. Or Mecha Liz, I guess is how she actually is named, but... 
Yeah, the, the reason I didn't want to bring her, I shouldn't have brought her in here because what the fuck am I trying to say? The reason I didn't bring her in is because she doesn't deal very much damage to these metal pumpkin knights, and they're the main dudes we're fighting. So it's really a pain. I'm gonna kill this guy because obviously he's not any threat to anyone. And then I'll go double waver. Eats up. I'll fix that next time. Again, with mission-style quests, there really isn't any, like, eh, I don't really care about three-turning these, because they're impossible. They're super annoying. <laughs> Alright, let me go... Sure. Hopefully she can take him out with one arts cards, but I really doubt it. One of them! Come on, you can do this. I really do like robot voices. That's why I like Mecha Liz, because she makes robot noises. Robot spear. Robot rock. Oh, there's the Sphinx. I can take care of that bitch. No problem! Let's see. Go. That works for me. Hmm. Really? That's annoying. I didn't realize that she was... The Usually Sphinxes are writers, because they're Sphinxes. Uh, let's see if she should be able to kill him. Or kill her, excuse me. Damn it, really? That's annoying guy charging his MP as if he's actually going to use it. As if I'm not just about to completely mark him with a kitty cat. Get him. Go! No, I'm thinking of Brave Liz. Brave Liz is the one who goes. I forgot that Mecha Liz is in the background. Oh, uh, It's terrifying to look at. She's just staring at us. Watching her tiny self. Beep boop, beep boop. Oh, it's common Rider. Karaman Rider? <laughs> I get the joke. Alright, let's see. This is super annoying for a lot of reasons. So we go here. Okay. okay. That should be enough to completely wipe the floor with um with him right there. But let's see. She is only MP1, I think. No, I think she's MP2. Good morning. Good morning. Oop, that's not good. Damn. Really? It should have been enough. Super annoying that he's arrived. And she died? What? Okay, that usually doesn't happen. Quickly go here. It's very rare for someone who's not the Berserker to suddenly eat it. So we go here. Yeah, that should work. Wow, really? <laughs> Alright, that's the end of today's video, everyone. This kid is going to take us out. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed the relaxing time. I'll see you guys in the next Gotcha Weekend update. Till next time, goodbye. It is still fucking hot in this room. Goodbye. <laughs> Good morning.